Welcome, welcome everybody. We have on the left side the Apple, on the right side the Apple iPhone SE and on the left side the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge. Why am I comparing a one-year-old phone actually with the uh, latest iPhone that has the latest hardware by Apple also inside? It's quite simple because the Samsung Galaxy S uh, S6 Edge and S6 are available for around about the same price right now without a contract as the iPhone is available without a contract. Four to five hundred bucks if you buy new um, here this phone and both have similar hardware when it comes to the camera for example. Both can record 4K videos, have good front cameras. The sizes um, are maybe a little bit um, different but um, otherwise the hardware I would say is pretty much a little bit similar and when it comes especially down to price and what you would do it uh, you, what, what you would use them for every day. So a 5.1 inch screen device versus a 4 inch um, screen device is not that fair but let's just put them on top of each other for example to see which one is thicker and how the um, build quality looks like. So you can see both um, made out of metal um, have a little bit of similarities on the bottom and um, the iPhone is actually with 7 millimeters um, a little bit um, thinner than the Samsung which is 7. Point or actually the other way around, I'm sorry. So the <laughs> iPhone is 7.6 millimeters thick, while the Samsung phone is just 7 millimeters uh, thin, and it even has wireless charging built in and NFC and all kinds of other things that Apple has or not ha not has. Um, like for example, wireless charging is not built in into Apple iPhones still till nowadays. But um, even though the Samsung is slimmer, the camera is sticking out quite a bit with the S6. You can see it right here. That's uh, something that a lot of people are annoyed of. With Apple, the camera does not stick out at all and has 12 megapixels on the Apple phone, while the Samsung has 60 megapixels, so a little bit um, better for zooming in. Otherwise, dual flash LED here on the Apple, and the Samsung has just a single flash. And also what you can see here is a heart rate monitor for the Samsung, which the Apple doesn't have, but it's not that interesting. On the back this is a complete glass cover while this is metal so that's something that you have to decide for yourself what you want and otherwise both have um, storage space inside that you cannot expand um, so you just put in your sim card um, for example on the Samsung on the top but you also have an infrared port here for controlling your TV and hi-fi system um, but otherwise um, you buy your certain size and then that's the size that you will um, use for until you use the phone. So this was just a look outside on the both phones, both quite beautiful and obviously the um, Samsung Galaxy S6 is also available as a non-edge device. On the edge device you just have here this little edge where you can um, slide around and choose between content but that's something I've never used in half the year um, I'm using this phone. So you can see both looking quite beautiful. The flimmering on the Samsung is just because of the screen, um, um, not resolution but speed. It's conflicting with my camera a little bit but I hope it doesn't annoy you too much so you guys can see it's running uh, both both running on the latest software by both companies and let's just start up with both the camera and let's see um, how the quality compares. So the zoom and actually the megapixel number is quite strange here for my Samsung. Let's, let's just go up here to 16 and you can see here that the wide angle is just a lot better um, on the not a lot better, it just looks different on the Samsung phone. I, if I would go to the same spot, I can put them on top of each other, on the bottom of each other. They have about the same um, picture size, but on the Samsung it just looks a little bit bigger from the wide angle because the phone is uh, has a bigger screen, so it's actually, I would say, the same in terms of quality. Also with 4K, I would say it comes down to the same quality here with both phones. Also when, when you try to focus the focus is on both quite quick and fun to use. The camera, so let's try the front because on the front there's a lot of bigger difference between 1.2 megapixels and 5 megapixels here and you can also see right away um, that the wide angle is a little bit better again on the Samsung, not much better than on the, uh, than on the iPhone but if you would have more people in the picture definitely the Samsung would be better but in terms of Lighting, um, I'm not even sure which is better because obviously this is a, a complicated light situation with having the backlight in the background here, but it seems like the Samsung is handling it a little bit better than the iPhone where on the iPhone the um, light is just a little bit oversaturated, but that's not that important. I think both have beautiful front cameras and with the Samsung you just have more space and a little bit more sharpness going on thanks to the higher resolution number. 
So what else? We can start on both the same game. And let me check if I can find here also the same game. Here we go. Um, Tomb Raider Relic Run. Let me make sure that it's not running here in the background. Um, on the Samsung, nothing is running in the background right now except for the things that we open. So let's start up on both the game at the same time. And let's see if 3 gigs of RAM and the 8 core processor are faster or the dual core processor in the iPhone which is already finished with just 2 gigs of RAM is faster. So let's go to the same spot and let's run with both here this little parkour which is the first level or the tutorial you could say on the um, Lara Croft Relic Run. Now the left Samsung phone is a little bit darker but the colors look on both quite beautiful and there was a little bit of a lag going on maybe on the iPhone but looks on both quite good and smooth and I finished the first level and wasn't that hard but it always seems like the iPhone would be a little bit faster but obviously that phone is half a year newer in terms of hardware and even the processor by Apple obviously is always a little bit better configured uh, for their own system. So there's not much else to say except for um, it would be a hard decision for me since I love Android a lot more than I love um, a Apple and um, I would be just too limited I think in my feeling that I don't want to have everything controlled by Apple on the iOS store but otherwise um, the speed is probably a lot faster now um, on the um, Android uh, on the iOS device since on the Android Samsung Galaxy S7 for example I could show you the benchmark but I can't find my benchmarking app right now and um, the number that it would spit out would be around 80,000 and here on the iPhone we have actually 125,000 and that's almost 50% more that's around 35 to 40% more I would say um, if I counted right and that's really quite a lot of a difference in terms of how much more you could do in terms of gaming at least with the iPhone. Battery wise we have here 2600 milliamps obviously for a bigger screen and here we have 1600 milliamps so the Samsung has a 35 to 40% more um, battery which is also quite nice to have but that battery does not hold as long as um, the iPhone does right now since that's just a little bit newer and Apple just has also a better way to um, check the processor speed and everything else what's running in the background um, so I think the Apple would have the better runtime also here so it would be a hard choice if you want something small and cheap get the iPhone if you want something that has a little bit more features is a little bit more interesting not only for the design but also um, in terms of what you can do with it get maybe the Samsung thank you much tuning in don't forget to subscribe again my name is Paul Arge, and this was the Apple iPhone SE versus the Samsung Galaxy S um, a six edge.